Okay, so taking a look at these two swings now here on the left-hand side, we've got the first one that you were swinging a little bit steep from on the way back as that club was taking it into transition. The back swing getting quite lifty, picky up here now. Club getting almost vertical at this point now. And that means I'm making much of a turn. Club quite, say, left arm very steeper across the left shoulder. Club very, very high. Now when that club starts coming back into transition, just because of that angle you're swinging that club on, now the club coming back in here, very, very steep. It's going to make it very, very difficult for you to actually square that club face up as you come back into the club face now. And it's going to be really ripped over with the hands there and a lot of hand action. Ball then starting off to the right. And generally in that sort of pushy cut now, what you then did to sort of compensate for that, as you admitted at the start of the session, you could sort of lean back on the golf ball and hit the ball straight, which obviously worked in some cases when the ball was sat on a tight line or on the ground there very tight. Or with a longer club, you would struggle off the tee. It was great because the ball was teed up, leaning back on it and kind of making that move kind of worked. But obviously we don't have any sort of two swings um, with the irons and the woods. We want sort of one good movement and the good movement working for all parts of the game. So with this steeper swing we say on the way back, just make it very, very difficult for you now to square that club face up. So we compare that now with this right-hand swing. Much better turning the takeaway now, the club going back more with the torso turning. Club now working more sort of on a behind you more feel and getting much more depth now with the arms. You can see the arms now here working much more across the chest. Much fuller back swing, fuller turn. So as you're coming back into the golf ball now, that club's going to be working much more down on a plane that we're looking for. You can see as we're coming into the golf ball now, that club now matching up with the right forearm, really getting into a good position for delivery. For when you just get back into it now, we can just rotate, unwind the body, hit the golf ball towards target, and get that ball going down the range. Now what you'll probably find is, because of that steepness of your previous swing, squaring the club up was very difficult. You're always fighting against the club face coming back open. So you sometimes overly rotated the club and often caused the ball to try to go further left than it needed just to square the club face up. Now you've re reduced a lot of that movement that was causing the ball to curve out to the right. The instinct you're going to still have is going to be there. So you might find the first few practice sessions, a few shots start going off to the left here with a bit of a draw. But in time, that instinct will start adjusting. As it adjusts in the first place for your steeper swing, it will eventually adjust to your on-plane swing and that club will have to sort of come back to the ball a lot straighter and a lot squarer. So work on that back swing, get that club working more on a sort of flatter plane going back, much more kind of sort of on that 45 degree angle back down to the golf ball there now, getting that club working much more efficiently into the golf ball, allowing the club and the body to work together, hitting that ball a lot further and a lot straighter. So I hope that makes sense. Any questions, obviously give me a shout and I'll see you soon. Cheers.